Alright guys, what's going on? It's your boy Alpha Xerxes. And what I'm bringing you today is basically a little bit of everything. Alright, we got both of these. Then we got this with all the little nice attachments to it. And then we're going to have a talk about monitors and headsets to buy and headsets not to buy. And then we're going to have a little talk about the grippies. Yeah, you know you like the grippies. Alright, well, basically we're going to start off with the headsets because, for one, this was my favorite headset, but the cheapest built headset I've ever bought in my life, and it was the most expensive out of all of these, which is very, very crazy. As you see, I've had a duct table, and these are the personal favorite Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Sentinel Task Force editions. They're about 80, about 70, 80 bucks from Best Buy. Um, they got amplified digital audio, massive 50 millimeter speakers, and adjustable bass boost. Um, pretty good. Is um, you can also change out the um, the cord, like the plates right here. You can change them in and out if you would like. But I mean, that, that's not really a big deal to me. They're wired too, so that's kind of uh, and the cord is ah. Like, look at this. All that goes to this. It's too much cords. Don't know what to do with it. Alright. And as you see, I got the super duct tape on it. Because both of the insides of this broke. These right here snapped. For some reason, I don't know why, but they snapped. Alright. Check that out. But these are basically the um, same thing. But these are for PC, you know, just... PC gaming when I'm online doing a few tournaments with my boys on UMG, but heck, it is what it is. But yeah, these are pretty nice too. These are about 80 to 100 bucks right here. They ain't bad. I like them. They're really cushiony. This is my favorite part up here at the top. So for this, really, 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 really soft. All right. And then, see, this is one thing I don't understand. All right, these are from my Xbox 360. These are the X42s, I believe. Look how thick that is compared to how thick this is. So look at the difference. Is this? Look at that. We can bring this one. Now we're gonna bring that. Let's look at. It. It's just big difference. Newer gen, they're making stuff really, really cheap. Trying to make more money than what they're making and what they're getting back is just. It's new systems, but hey. New systems, you they have better software, better upgrades, better everything, basically. But no, they don't. This headset is still the best headset I've ever used in my life. Most reliable. I've had this headset for three and a half years, and nothing's wrong with it. Only problem with it? Batteries. Shit goes through about 18 pack of batteries a week. Easy. That's, that's on the minimum. Sucks pretty bad. And then I got these when I first got my PS4. These right here. The, Com the Coma Tritons. Actually pretty nice. The only difference with these is, for one, it's not a fucking 30 million foot long cord. We got an actual little, like, two, three foot cord, and they got 40 millimeter speakers in it with bass. It was bass in it. Yeah, but, I mean, they work for me. As you see, they're not, I mean, they're still thin. Not, but not as thin. They're like paper thin on the fucking turtle beaches. But only Tritons are not. And that's another thing I like about it. I ain't worried about breaking them. They turn sideways too, just like turtle beaches. They do everything turtle beaches do. The only thing that does to come off is that. Um, as you see, the cord's really not that long. That's like one fourth of that damn cord. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna pull this one back. And. This is where we come to the controllers. Alright. I just want y'all to check this out. Alright, most people, I don't know how y'all play. Some people play, of course, the claw. I can't do it. It aggravates the hell out of me. But, it's just, you know what I'm saying? It's a pretty good feel, but just not my type. I don't know. These buttons just, I don't like them. I was originally an Xbox 360 player. I've never cared for Sony until the PS4. The PS4 is definitely blew the cakewalk. As you see, I mean, they're both pretty damn good. But, I'd have to go with this one. Let's just look at this for one. Alright, look. You got your PS4 controller. Check that out. 
You got plenty of finger movement. In the front, you got plenty of thumb movement. If you play claw, you play claw. It doesn't matter. It's pretty good movement on that part. But this one, you got your fingers touching. This is Xbox. Your fingers aren't supposed to touch. And then you got this annoying fucking thing right here. Right fucking there. It's the most aggravating shit I've ever had in my goddamn life. Alright. And then this cheap ass fucking USB outlet they put in the damn top of it. Look at it. This is not secure at all. But look up look at that one. That was a PS4 that you got in the ditching. Xbox One. You're just simple like a damn phone. This is just crazy. I mean you expect me to wiggle this around, play with it, and then the corner out to fall out, it falls out every fucking like two, three seconds. I hate it. I cannot stand it. I will not play the game until my controller is fully charged. Um, this right here, plug it in, I'm good to go. I can throw it, shake it, throw it all over the place. The cord ain't coming out. That's why I favor more of the PS4. I got both consoles, so it is what it is. But this is another main part I want to say. We got the PlayStation Red Samurai PS4 player kits. They got a USB charger cable and a controller grip with it. The USB is actually really, really thick. I like it, as you see. It's kind of got a thicker cord than your most cords you get with PS4s or anything like that. Um, it's pretty nice though. You can get it from your local GameStop for about 20 bucks. Um, you might be able to get it cheaper than that, honestly. It comes with a controller grip and the charger, which is really nice. Um, minus the, um, the thumb grips. Um, but this is basically what the grip looks like. It fits in your controller pretty fair and evenly. If um, you move that, I mean, as you see, I'm squeezing that and it's not shaking around. I'm twisting it. It's just it's not moving. It's a really good grip, really good feel. As you see, how much, like, if you look at my finger spread, it's a little bit bigger when I hold it this way than when I hold it this way. Not a huge difference, but a little difference. And that little difference, honestly, I can't even play with a regular controller no more. I mean, it's nice and all, but it's not as good as the one with the grips. you got to have the grips. And then, my thumb grips. Um, I'll have to say gel tabs are probably my favorite. As of right, the second gel tabs are, um, how do I want to put this? Basically, they they got more grip. They don't last as long as control freaks, but I like them a lot better. Alright, this is just a little handful of different varieties. Basically, they're just, you got your domes, your inside, your fucking levels. Ooh, what is that one's high? Yeah, but basically, this is what you're working with. Woo, got the camera. Right, there it is. These are the gel tabs. These are actually really, really nice. I prefer these over any of them. But, then again, some people don't. Everybody's got a personal opinion. But you got your control freak ones. Man, I mean, they're pretty good. You can see the reds in them, but it just slaps. This, I kind of like these, but I just, I don't know, it feels weird with my thumbs indenting into my controller. I don't really like it. I've always been a domed out person. But, as you can see, that one's alright. And then you got this one. I can't use this. This is basically like lifting your finger off your controller like a half an inch. But I can't use What is that? It's freaking huge. But that, that is what it is. Um, with all that said, you can buy, let's see... You can get about an 8-pack of Control Freaks on Amazon for about, mm, I'd say about 9, 10 bucks, maybe 12 at the most without shipping. Um, but then again, if you want gel tabs, I've only seen them on, like, you know, I say, I, of course they're on eBay, but, I mean, eBay and um, Amazon, but you can also get them at GameStop for like 6 bucks and 99 cents. Um, really nice. Pretty cheap. It comes with two packs. It comes with usually a black and blue pair. Um, just in case one rubs out, you got the other. As you see, I got black and blue. All right, well, that goes with that for controllers. When it comes to TVs to play on, I'll have to go with my boys. Thank you. Thank you has definitely got it all the way. They're 1080p. They got this one's got a one millisecond uh, response time. This has got a black equalizer on it. It's um. Let's see what model this one is. I'll let y'all know. Let me flip that over. Basically, this is like it's a computer in one. This is a 24-inch uh, LED black-white monitor. Um, it's 
pretty good. Honestly, this is my favorite thing to play. I can't play on a regular TV no more other than playing on this. As y'all can see, this is all I play on. Very clean, very crisp. I love it. Um, but yeah, basically that's about it. And um, we're going to roll over to my Titan 1. Which I'll be releasing gameplay to add on to this video to stay tuned. Um, the Titan 1 is basically something that is basically like buying a modded controller. Without buying a modded controller, you can link any other controllers that you want to link to this. Um, say if I want to play Xbox One on my PlayStation 4, I can hook this up through there in my USB and you plug this side into your console. And basically what you do is, um, either if you don't want to use mods, you ain't got to, it's just a choice. Basically it's like having a modern controller and a controller swapper, like, whenever you want it, in any way you want. Saves you money if you want to go, like, say if you bought a controller for your Xbox, but you want to play a PS4 with it. You can. You do not have to buy a modern controller. You do not have to buy this. You do not have to buy that. It's all in one. And the best thing about this, other than the modern controller, is, is when your mind goes out of date, you're kind of SOL. You need to go get a new one if you want to upgrade with this. Titan 1, you get downloads. You go on to eat, I think it's like G Fuels thing or something. G4, some, something like that. It's um downloadable website. You'll know what it is once you buy one of these from Amazon for 60 bucks or 70 bucks. Titan 1s. Basically, what you do is you plug this in your computer. It has a programmer thing. It'll come with a USB. You plug the USB into this, into your computer, and it will pull up the website. you got to download the scripts. And once you download the scripts, you want to basically plug this back in and download whatever mods you want for any game. I mean, any game. All right. And I want y'all to stay tuned on this video to test see how the um, Titan 1 actually works. Titan 1 is um, pretty nice. I use it every day of just about. And I want y'all to check out this music. Um, please leave a writing. Please leave a comment. His link's below. Check him out. Koopa J. Please holla at your boy. He's an ill-ass dude. I want to appreciate him for putting his music on all my videos now. And I hope to see more of y'all. Enjoy the next video. And... Hit that subscribe.